Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I am Caldwell from the Hidden Art Village. And I am Nathan from the village hidden in my beard. <laughs> from the Crunchy Beard Village. The Crunchy Beard Village. Uh, and if you hadn't guessed, today on the show we are doing knockoff Naruto characters. Oh boy! Yes, this one was suggested during our charity stream. It was purchased by the very generous Turkey Hill Raver. That's such a good name. It's a very good name. If you're unfamiliar, Turkey Hill is a brand of uh, ice cream and uh, I think iced tea. They make a lot of stuff. A lot of like cold, refreshing products. And I'm just picturing this person just blasting some EDM and just uh, going wild on some Moose Tracks ice cream. It's the scene from the rave scene from The Matrix Reloaded, but there's just one person with a melting crate of ice cream just being like, hey, bro, want some ice cream? You know, sometimes people at raves will like have a, a pacifier or something so they don't bite their tongue out, I guess, if you're on too much E. This person, yeah, they've just got just a big tub of ice cream and they're just going ham on that. They got a whole cone in their mouth. Yes. Nathan, I've, I've already begun here. Yeah, you've drawn some some nice angry boy eyes. And uh, for those who are unfamiliar, Naruto, of course, is Harry Potter, but they're ninjas. That's pretty much 100% accurate, yeah. We're in like an interesting position for this knockoff, because usually when we do a knockoff, it's of some property that we're like big fans of. It becomes sort of a loving homage as we ruin the thing. Naruto, I was always aware of. Sure. I was always more of a bleach guy myself. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I definitely watched, like, when, when all my friends in high school were like, oh, snap, Rock Lee is going to fight Gara." Uh-huh. I watched <laughs> that. You get pumped for them, yeah. You know, I didn't really know the context. I just know they're like, it's Ninja Junior High. Yeah, which is a great concept for a show. It's a great concept for a show. It's just, it's so dense. There's so much. We're going to mess up the lore, but honestly... I feel like this is more true to what knockoffs actually are. Because I imagine whoever designed Homar Slamson didn't have a particularly intimate knowledge of the Matt Groening... Cinematic universe, yeah. Yeah. I also, again, just so you don't think I'm cool, uh, I was more of a, a Bleach fan. It wasn't that I didn't think that Naruto was cool. I certainly did. But I was just too invested in, uh, in Ichigo and his saga and his friends. You can only really follow one Shonen Jump show about a determined boy at a time. I don't know if the headband should just keep going. It sure could. Why not? Just like a real tall headband. We're sort of going in blind here. We don't really know enough to make specific good jokes. So really just any first thought you have. I'm saying like maybe just kind of like a palm tree haircut up here. Oh, I like that. This is sort of a tropical vibe we're getting. Yeah, he's from the Hidden Frond Village. <laughs> This is island Naruto. This is Naruto's Alola form. Well, I think that, you know, a lot of times when you see um, like a knockoff product, it will be like on vacation or something like that, like at a boardwalk or a pier. And I want it to be like that. A lot of times the knockoff will be something we're pitching to like a television network. I want this to just be like a knockoff t-shirt you would see uh, maybe in like a non-native English speaking country. Sounds good to me. I've got the eyes in there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw like a palm tree on there. We gotta come up with a name for this friend. What you got for me? Hit me. Narut beer. Narut beer. Narut beer. What if he just, what if his face is just painted? What if he's like a clown? Yeah. <laughs> he just like went to the boardwalk and got some like face paint. Yeah, exactly. So he, do, he still has the whiskers, but they're like painted on there. Oh, he had such a good day at the fair. <laughs> yeah. What if, um, all right, uh, nah, rude though? <laughs> is that his name or is that just something he says when people ask him to do stuff? Yeah, it's like, hey, uh, like, you're so, you're such a strong, good ninja. I want you to help me move. And he's like, nah, rude though. <laughs> <laughs> rude that you would even think to ask. <laughs> yeah. Don't just assume that I want to help you move because I'm a ninja and a good friend. I'll keep the palm tree look. I think that's fun. That's very island. It's very tropical. I was going to do like cornrows, but that seems like a bit much. Palm Ruto. What about just Nintendo? What about ju <laughs> What about just this? Yeah, I don't think I don't think that name is taken. Is that taken? I don't think so. I'm just picturing the word Nintendo spelled out in the Naruto font. It's really cracking me up. <laughs> and I feel like if you see that like on a t-shirt, you're going to have a good day at the boardwalk. Is that his name or is that, does he just like Nintendo? Why can't it be both? Okay. It's just like, hey, my name's Nintendo. Conceive of it. Conceive of it. 
<laughs> Trust me. The face paint and the palm tree, they're not really related to his name. This is good. This is like, we're really sort of tapping into what makes a good knockoff, which is just a bunch of sort of disparate elements that aren't particularly thought out. I am going to give him another palm tree uh, over here, though. Uh, I'm looking at, at his actual costume, and he's got this weird, like... He's like a snowboarder. Exactly. He looks like he's wearing, like, a onesie that you would snowboard in when you were a kid. But he's got this weird, like, like a whistle or something on the side here. So I'm going to go with that. He's just got like, um, he's got like a lifeguard whistle here. Oh, nice. Okay. Because he's all about safety. Ninja Tendo, the ninja friend, your ninja friend is all about safety. Regular Naruto, it's ninja high school, ninja middle school. Maybe this is like ninja summer camp. Ninja clown college? Ninja cl- <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was going a different direction, but yeah. Can I do a take two? I want to, I think we got to embrace this clown theme. There are rodeo clowns. There are like clowns that specifically are for cowboys. Are there ninja clowns? The clowning art is such a deep and noble profession. I would think that ninjas would have had to have played in at some point. Why'd you get rid of his long headband? I'm embracing the new direction, Nathan. This is the beauty of the show. You have to be willing to forsake what you've created. This is process. This is process right here. Anyone who just skips to the end of the video to see what we come up with, they're gonna miss out on the, these good goofs that are left on the cutting room floor. What would the headband have on it now that he's a ninja clown? A pie? God damn it, Nathan. <laughs> You're so good at this. Whatever, I was trying to draw a pie. It's hard to draw a pie like as an iconic symbol. Yeah, it's true. There we go. Yeah, there that, it is. That looks better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what this is now? Is it a flower? Oh, you're right. It should be a flower. You're right. You're right. You're right. Instead of a kunai, he'll be holding a horn. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so Nintendo is a good... I feel like we got to change the name or maybe we just keep it the same and it's just totally inexplicable. Okay, because now it's like a clown name. Yeah. What are clown names? Like pockets and, uh, and buckets. Because yeah, like a lot of clown names are just names of things. So I think Nintendo works, actually. All right, so on the show they have jutsus, you know? Yeah. So what do they do instead of jutsus? Jugs, juggles? Juggles. <laughs> Juggalutsus? Juggalutsus, I mean, clown. Shit, we're really sticking to this clown theme, huh? <laughs> Juices? Juice? Juice, juice soups. Juice soups. That seems good. All right, so he's got this here. I don't know what's in this little, uh, I guess he keeps balloons in there. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, he's at Ninja Clown College learning all of his Juggalo Jutsus. All right, let me give him some big, some big, big clown shoes here. There we go. <laughs> now that's a pose, Caldwell. <laughs> yeah. That makes so much sense. His ankle is so broken. That's what you learn in clowning, how to break your ankle. It's like how escape artists learn how to pop their shoulder out of their socket. When you are a clown, you learn specifically how to destroy your ankles in pursuit of a primo tumble. You got to be able to tumble. You got to be multi Multiple jointed. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Get some patches on there. Absolutely. He's got to have some patches. Oh, this should have like, I'll just put like a little clown face here. There we go. I'm feeling good about this. Nathan, I, I'm going to say, I don't think you need to stick to the clown theme. Okay. Wait, what name did we settle on for this dude? Nintendo. This is Nintendo the Clown. <laughs> All right. Do you want to draw Nintendo's friends? Yeah, I want to draw Nintendo's friends. Nathan, I could definitely see a clown being named Nintendo. Yeah. Maybe for your fourth or fifth birthday, you just have a clown that shows up and he's like, I'm Nintendo the Clown. And he's vaguely Mario themed, but not really. And you're just like, I accept this. I am a child. My heart is open. I'm going to draw sort of the golden sad. He's like a sad clown. Classic sad clown. You need a sad clown. Is this like a, like a hobo vagrant clown kind of thing or like? I think so, yeah. He's just wearing like a giant sock. I feel like you could just like really lean into the like sad vagrant vibe and just call him Old Soxy. <laughs> old Soxy, yeah. Oh, and he's just caught, he's got lots of socks. Yeah, he's got a big sock here sort of coming up. He's doing like that cool ninja thing. They got their arms out like pew. Oh, and he's like running, like when they run really fast and their arms just flap behind them. How am I going to make this work? Oh, God. That is the question of every episode of Drawfee. Yeah, maybe he's got one one hand sort of coming up like this. Oh, sure. He's striking a bit of a pose. What is Soxie's trademark juice soup? He's got his like sad clown eyes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like he's from a, a family of sad clowns. The crying gun, I think is what it's called. <laughs> Okay. The thing is, Soxy wanted to be a happy clown, but his family's like, no, you must follow the sacred art of sad clowns. So maybe you know how in Naruto they have scrolls. 
In this, I think they do just have a bunch of watery soup in kind of uh, flasks. They just drink those and then they are able to do uh, their juice soup maneuvers. Kind of like how the gummy bears would have to drink gummy berry juice before they did a big bounce. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, of course. Right. I really was giving you an out, Nathan. I was like, you do not have to draw sad clowns, but yep. You went for it, and by God, am I proud of you. You did such nice world building. I wanted to yes it. He's also got the pie. They're all from the the hidden pie. It wouldn't be hidden pie village. It would be flying pie village. Flying pie village, of course. So yeah, he's got some crazy clown hair. You don't see enough clowns with spiky hair. I want to see more anime clowns. I want more anime clowns. You got Hisoka. That's a good anime clown. You got, what? what's his face? From One Piece, there's a clown. I think they're all clowns in One Piece in one way or another, right? Yeah, everybody kind of looks like a clown in that show. Nathan, when I was in Japan, I stayed in a hotel, and one of the features that the hotel offered was a clown service. Oh, wow. You could get Clown Jin. His name was Clown Jin, and he would come and perform for you your children. And I was so curious about what clown Jin's routine involved. Maybe this was it. Maybe I missed my chance to become a clown ninja when I was overseas. That was your one chance. Are you going to just draw his body as just a sock? I am, yeah. (laughs) He just bounces around. If I was at a birthday party and this clown came out to entertain me, I would clap my hands with joy. I would only throw up a little bit of my birthday cake. Yeah, he smells very bad. He smells like an old sock. Get some stink lines going. Yeah, that's one of his uh, soup juices, his, uh, his power odor. His sad gong, what does that do? It just makes everyone cry. It's like a schadenfreude thing. So like you laugh at his crying. So he uses this technique and it just like summons like a piano to fall on him or something like that. Kind of like how Naruto can just summon a log at will. They can all still summon logs. That tracks, that still exists. Should he have like little feet coming out the bottom or are they <laughs> are they just like stuck in there? I think it's like he's wearing a sleeping bag. I'm just going to draw some like lumps to indicate his legs are real stuffed up in there. Yeah. He's not having a good time with it. No, (laughs) I like this a lot. And this is a great pose. This is a bit, a bit Jojo, but I'm not mad. You take whatever anime you can get at this point in this economy. In this anime economy. God, I I really, I want this to be real now. Clowns are just kind of funny wizards. (laughs) Explain. They know basic magic. They're not specced for magic, but they know basic illusion, but their true art is comedy and rolling, but they also have a high acrobatic skill and proficiency. So I'm saying that like a battle clown is a viable idea. Okay. Because they would be able to attack with advanced tumbles. Right. They have like mesmerizing abilities. They can make you laugh. They can make you cry. They have full control over your emotions. They've got sleight of hand down. I'm saying that like a clown is basically like a rogue and a bard put together. And that's a deadly ass combo. That's a deadly ass combo. I want to play a clown in D&D now. Yeah, you can make a bard clown. Again, I think by a pure bard clown would be doing a disservice to the nature of clowning. Okay. You got to have that acrobatics ability in there. Bards get all the ability. If you want to talk D&D specifics with me, I'll tell you. We got time to kill. You got to draw like a whole other dude here. Well, this is a lady. Okay, because we're, we're drawing kind of the initial team that Nintendo gets put on at Clown College. Now bear with me on this, because I realized too late that, in fact, there's even another character in Naruto whose name works with Sock even better, <laughs> and that's Sakura. <laughs> Oh my god, what have we done? Maybe they're like rival sock based. Because she's got to also, she's got to be Sakura, but with sock spelled like sock. Yeah, it's like Sakusuke and Sakura. Yeah. Maybe they're sock buddies. Because Sakusuke, he comes from like a family of sad clowns. He's got an older brother who's like the saddest clown ever. What's his older brother's name? Itchtachi. Okay. It's just itchy. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and that's his whole shtick is that he's itchy all the time. That's good. Can I make a suggestion just to like up the clown? Maybe give her some pigtails? Oh, sure. All of her like bows and stuff are socks. Yeah, it's a real mess. All right. This is Sakura, I see. What's her deal? Well, she's not a sad clown. She's happy about socks. She's sort of like a goody two shoes. She's a goody two socks. Okay, I got you. So maybe instead of having like one big body sock, Sakura maybe does like a mankind from WCW type thing where she's got like two sock buddies on her hands. Oh, I like that. I'm making some real topical references this episode, huh? So she's going to have like a happy clown aesthetic going. Oh, I like that. Just like a real like painted clown doll looking face. Yeah, there it is. Great. 
Yeah, she's really got like a Raggedy Ann vibe. I like that. Oh yeah, she should have some some freckles too. We've somehow managed to accurately capture all the different types of clowns, which I'm very I'm very pleased with. <laughs> I'm also so happy because like nobody expected this. Nobody wanted this. Turkey Hill Raver certainly did not want this. It's like, oh boy, I can't wait for them to ruin my favorite ninja friend. And we didn't ruin it, we improved it in every way because this would be a very good show. What is like the ultimate goal of this world? It's to have the best circus. Oh, right, yeah, to have the best big top. Yeah. To, to be a ringleader. <laughs> That's Nintendo's ultimate goal is to be the ringleader of the big top village. <laughs> She's got her like sock buddy friends. Oh, great. What are they, what are her sock buddies' names? One of them has to be Sock Lee. God damn it. Yes, 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 yes. Sock Lee and, um, oh, God. I'm trying to think of any more sock puns. I think you've exhausted them all. It's just Sock Lee. Actually, yeah, just, just one sock. So th- this is Sock Lee. There you go. Give him those big eyebrows. <laughs> Fuck, you pulled that out of nowhere, dude. Can you give him a little mop top? There it is. I feel like eventually Sock Lee has his own adventures. Hold on, I should make this her other hand. I feel like Sock Lee kind of gets his own body at some point. It's that sock head, but on a full muscular boy body. <laughs> yeah. Well, it turns out that this sock was weighted the whole time. Right. Oh, big bow tie. Yeah, this is great. Are you gonna give her like a big lady clown dress? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, what do, what do lady clowns wear? Male clowns just wear like a big dumb jumpsuit. I'm realizing that I basically just drew Ronald McDonald, by the way. And like lady clowns, I feel like they have, uh, it's just like a big polka dot frock dress. Okay. Yeah, this is like a bit of a Miss Frizzle vibe and I'm not opposed. It's gonna be hard to pose that, but I believe in you, Nathan. I guess my question now is we gotta add like a, a villain maybe? A rival of some sort? Yeah, something like that. You can sort of dr- just draw like their head looming in the background maybe? For sure, yeah. I would go to this circus. Did you guys see that Cirque du Soleil is in town? Fuck that. Fuck that trite Las Vegas bullshit noise. I only go to the ninja circus. <laughs> they combine incredible ninja skills with the tumbling and delights I've come to know and love. Even the lions are ninjas. And also clowns? They're ninjas and clowns and it's great. Do you think that like Ringling is is involved in this universe at all? Oh. Or Barnum and Bailey? Yeah. I feel like Barnum and Bailey would be like the villains. Yeah. God, I'm trying to think of like what our villain needs to be because I don't know enough about Naruto to be able to pull this out of, uh, my, of my butt. Orochi. Orochi. Orochi Maru, is that a bad guy? Yeah. Is he one of the Akatsuki? That's all I know. Those are the two words I know. The big top Suki. Doesn't Rock Lee have a, a brother though? He's got like a, like his teacher who looks exactly like, see this is this is where we've like run out of like knowledge. Yeah, we're, we're at our limit. This is basically Harley Quinn that you've drawn here, Nathan. Yeah, well. I ain't against it. Okay, there you go. Okay, Nathan, um, I'm gonna draw like a villain. I'm gonna move Sasuke just a little bit this way. Watch the tangent. Ugh, get some messy lines there. We got it, don't worry. Can you redraw some of them bulges? Uh, absolutely. That bulgy sock. Yeah, there he is. Give it a little bit of an arch. The anatomy on all of these characters is, uh, is, is a little off. I feel like for the villain here, you mentioned Orochimaru. Yes. I like that. I feel like we just stick with that. But like, what's the um, what's the opposite of a clown? Uh, a mime. <laughs> yes, mimes are like the dark clowns. I guess the opposite of a clown is just like a regular person. Yeah, but like the the opponent, like the someone who like also follows the tumbling arts, mm-hmm. but uh, has taken like a vow of silence and like has turned their back to the world of man. So yeah, this is Orochi Maimu. Oh, he's got the little hat. Good. Absolutely. Very good. Now, I don't know much about Orochimaru, uh, except that apparently he's a, a snake man. He's got the big snake mouth. That works great, because, like, snakes can't talk. I have not once heard a snake talk. Solid snake can talk. That's the only snake that I know that can talk. Damn, what do Mime's faces look like? They also have makeup, right? I'm just thinking of Mr. Mime from Pokemon. Yeah, always. So he's got kind of this face going on, but then he's got the he's got the little, like, Tiddly wink uh, eye patterns, <laughs> some big eyebrows. And so his ability is he can trap people in an imaginary box, I guess. Yeah. And I guess like, yeah, mimes and, and clowns have been fighting a battle for supremacy over, over the big top for generations. I imagine you have to learn some amount of pantomime to be a good clown and you need to learn some amount of comedic timing to be a good mime. It's sort of like a, a Jedi Sith situation where like you're learning the same basic abilities, but it's just whether you, used to, you choose to use it for the good clowning or the evil miming. Even in Harry Potter, they have to take defense against the dark arts and it's you know like you have to learn 
how to harness it, how to harness your miming abilities. He has a snake, right? For some reason. He is a snake or he has a snake or he both is and has a I mean, they really, it, it really is Harry Potter ninjas. Like the bad guy is big into snakes. There are other villains besides Orochimaru, right? Like he's he's got his arc, but then there's, I mean, the, the series is so long. Orochimaru and then, yeah, Barnum and Bailey have an arc. Mm-hmm. There's like the Cirque du Soleil tournament uh, that happens in there. I'm going to draw him like kind of doing like an invisible box pose. Okay. This is his uh, juice soup, is the invisible <laughs> box. The invisible box. Uh, Orochi Maimu does not talk. No. Obviously, he uses sign language. He's actually the first character to use sign language. It's just that, like, that French violin sound playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, precisely that. And a slide whistle. There he is just kind of, he's appearing out of um, out of an invisible box. I think he definitely has invisibility powers. Yeah. He's got some stripes here. I'm just going to keep drawing stripes, I guess. I got to draw a lot of stripes. That's how mimes work. Sorry, that's just how mimes work, y'all. I'm feeling good about this. I'm going to draw some, like, ninja smoke in the background here. Of course. It's ninja smoke, but also, I guess, clown smoke. It's just sort of the general stench of the big top. That's circus musk. That's circus musk. Stale peanuts, urine, you know, all the things you come to love about a night out at the circus. I'm excited to buy this shirt at the boardwalk. Can you imagine just rolling up to the boardwalk and they've got, like, this shirt, they've got bleach, but it's, like... I guess just actual Clorox bleach, but with Ichigo's face on it. They got Dragon Ball Z, but that's like, um, have we done a Dragon Ball one yet? We did. Those cubes. Oh yeah, they got cubes. Uh, they got all the hits there. Well, yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna do it, Nathan. I'm gonna add some clown noses. I'm gonna add just a little bit of red. Uh, do you want to take us out? Yeah, look out for for Nintendo, the Ninja Clown, come to Toonami, Shonen Jump, 2018. This has been Drawfee. Thank you so much for watching. If you want us to ruin your favorite anime, leave it in the comments and we'll we'll do our worst. Or just leave a suggestion of anything you want to see us draw. We take takes all kinds. <laughs> like our Facebook page. Check us out on Twitch. We stream every Sunday. And uh, subscribe to this channel if you don't already. That that's always nice. Then you, you get to on, yeah. get all the the vid the vidges that we make. We got a podcast. Yeah, listen to our dang podcast if you would. Listen to our podcast. It's like this, but we talk and then we draw instead of uh, talk while we draw. It's a different energy and it's a good time. We have guests on. Yeah, fun. It's very good. Call. Well, this is just Ronald McDonald. <laughs> This is Ronald McDonald Origins. Ronald McDonald Origins. <laughs> Here's the thing, Nathan. Uh, we have just inked an exclusive deal with McDonald's. Uh, our this manga series, Nintendo the Clown, is going to be is going to be available exclusively from McDonald's. Uh huh. Go pick it up. You go and you get like a, a happy meal uh, or a sad meal, depending on which clown you want. Uh huh. And uh, they're gonna and they're gonna give you uh, the first five volumes. You get it uh, actually. You know, like how in England. Uh, when you get fish and chips, they like wrap it in newspaper. Sure. Uh, they actually just put the burger inside of a, a copy of our of our manga. Okay, great. Yeah, so you're gonna get a burger and fries, and uh, and the, the tales of Nintendo the clown and his and his sock friends and their evil villain uh, Orochi Maimu, uh, the silent but deadly clown. I'm calling it right now. Sock Lee is going to be the breakout character. That's my one regret of this episode is that we did not draw Sock Lee in his uh, in his final form where he's just a big muscular man with a sock head. Please, 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 please do fan art of that. I want to see it so badly. <laughs> this has been Drawfee and we're so sorry. Arcock. <laughs>